Nice. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Roll the Dice here at the Westfield f and with me, Christian, your Dungeon Master. It's nice to meet you. Today, we're going to talk about how to get started with Dungeons & Dragons. So you've seen Critical Role, you've listened to The Adventure Zone, maybe you've uh, even checked out some Dimension 20. You've seen people playing with miniatures and colorful books and figures over in the corner and thought, hey, maybe I should break off a little piece of that for myself. One of these days I'll try it out, but not today. Well, today's that day. Maybe you only played it once in the 80s and thought, eh, it's not for me. Well, good news, we're five editions in and it's never been better. So, good news for everyone, there is no time like the present to get started with Dungeons & Dragons here at the Westfield Athenaeum because we have two clubs that have now started meeting. One group for adults called Introduction to Dungeons & Dragons and a group for teens called Teen D&D. So who are these groups for? They're for you! That's right, my friend! You! So how do I get started with Dungeons & Dragons? Well, a lot of better people than me have laid this out and there are a lot of very helpful guides and uh, get started kits out there. So today we're just going to talk over some of the basics. You can use this video as a sort of sneak peek to see if you want to set this up at home. First things first, grab some friends to play with you. I find the uh, group of maybe four or five people is just about the right amount. One of you is going to become the game master, the DM, the GM, whatever you want to call it. And the rest of you will be players in this world. What's a game master? Well, if everyone is playing in the world, the game master is the world itself. They play all of the other parts. You'll want to pick up a copy of the rules, give them a nice solid look through. It's less scary than you, than you think. Sure, there's a lot of math and rules and numbers and stuff, but there's a lot of very helpful illustrations here to go along with them. It's gorgeous, it's fun, it's easy. Welcome to Dungeons & Dragons. Now it's time for you to put on your thinking caps. We're going to make our first character. Think about what shape you want your character to be. Uh, what species of person. This can be anything like uh, an elf, a dwarf, a hobbit like Frodo in Lord of the Rings, uh, an amoeba in a trench coat, even a human if you really want. There's like a hundred different types of characters out there and really they're all pretty good right now. Next, think about what you want your character to do. You know what I'm talking about, you've read movies and seen books. Uh, the big guy who smashes stuff, the mage who throws fireballs around, this is them. They're called classes and we'll get into them next video. Give the game master some time to really prep the world. You don't need to get too in-depth, but just remember, as the Game Master, you're going to be playing everyone else. You're going to be playing the giant, eager to study the tiny little people in the, on the ground below. You're going to be playing the Red Dragon, devastating in her fiery passion. You're going to be playing the random merchant who gets their entire livelihood destroyed by a land shark. By the way, that's a shark with legs, which you also get to play. Once your character is good to go, you'll encounter puzzles and monsters created by your Game Master. As far as running the game is concerned, we'll cover that on a later episode of Roll the Dice. Next time on Roll the Dice, we'll talk about classes and basic types of characters. In the meantime, don't forget that we've got two virtual clubs right here at the Athenaeum, Intro to Dungeons & Dragons for Adults and Team D&D for Teens. All right. You can register online at westaf.org. Tune in next time to hear Christian say, What kind of characters can I make?